Hey guys, we're in Copenhagen, Denmark, and we just had this little layover on the way to Eurobike, and I wanted to just show you Copenhagen kind of as we're exploring it for the first time. So I'm here with Tara, who's usually behind the camera, but now she's gonna be on the camera a little bit today, but it's gonna be fun. So looking forward to showing you a little bit more about Copenhagen and how they're such a big bike city. Well, this is outside the airport, and you could see the bike parking is pretty fantastic. Not so many e-bikes over here. I see a couple here and there, a couple of cargo bikes. Many cargo bikes are actually made in Copenhagen. It's really nice because you actually don't see this so much in airports in the States, but it, it makes a lot of sense. Hey guys, so we're here in downtown Copenhagen and I wanted to just kind of give you a first-hand perspective of what we're experiencing and just kind of talk through it a little bit. I mean, this is my first time going to Copenhagen and, you know, I've ridden in many cycling cities, but this is by far the most unique and, and really uh, the most mature cycling city I think I've experienced. So look forward to showing you that. We're riding here in the uh, Butchers and Bicycles MK1E, and it's it's really quite cool how many bikes are out here on the road. I mean, um, and this is just kind of in the middle of the day here, but uh, you can see, you know, pretty much everybody bikes to work. Apparently, from what I understand, it's somewhere around a 200% tax on vehicles when you purchase them, so not very cost effective to use a car uh, so I think a lot of people opt for bikes be interesting to see if uh, we ever see some sort of strategy like that in the States definitely a lot of waterways around and the architecture is really nice too you know so I don't really know where we're going actually just riding around somewhat lamelessly but uh, still feel quite comfortable in doing so because I feel like pretty much anywhere we do go, there'll be some bike infrastructure to enjoy and feel safe. Didn't expect that at all, having the motor scooter over here, but apparently, <laughs> you know, uh, a friend of mine that lives in Amsterdam told me that the scooters can ride in the bike lanes if they don't wear helmets which I, it's kind of crazy to think that. Um, that's one thing too you'll find here that a lot of people don't really wear helmets. I'm choosing not to wear a helmet today. Conscious decision somewhat. Actually, partly my helmet was left in at the airport, but um, you know, it's nice to feel relatively safe and you can enjoy um, riding and safe infrastructure separated from cars and not feel like you're gonna get run over. Although that scooter came a little close, I gotta say. <laughs> so the great thing is you see that, you know, these separated paths, there's not really much threat of the cars coming up here. I mean, you know, I guess technically they could get up on the curb, but, but it's definitely some level of protection pretty much everywhere you go. And it's a very different experience exploring a city by bike, you know, and just kind of tucking into little nooks and crannies that you might not otherwise get exposed to. I mean, if you're driving a car or even walking, really, uh, definitely wouldn't be covering this much ground. We've only got a really short stay here, but I feel like we've already gotten to see quite a bit, which is quite nice. Hopefully we don't get lost here, because I'm really just going to random places. Look at these little horses over here. This is kind of cool. And you know, this is just like middle of the day on a Monday. And I guess these are also, these are maybe donkeys and horses, which is pretty cool. But yeah, middle of the day on Monday, I mean, you could see how much bike traffic is out here. 
is not this is not rush hour times <laughs> i gotta imagine like early in the morning or later in the afternoon it might be a little bit crazier all right so this is pretty exciting looks like we're coming up on a cycling and pedestrian only bridge could definitely see some of these things coming into play in new york for sure um, that would be that would be quite nice i would say and, uh, really really transforms the city when prioritize cycling and pedestrians. Um, definitely a good example of that. Yeah, it's really interesting, you know, all the advertising, everything is really oriented around bikes. sweet and you got a little repair shop over here it's just kind of converted shipping container into a repair center could definitely see some of these things working in New York City some other cities in the states for sure <laughs> 